Canva is not only great for creating websites, but for hosting websites and for doing it absolutely 100% free. We did an entire video showing you how we create our websites, multiple websites, and host multiple websites here on Canva. Now we do have a Canva Pro account, but that doesn't stop us from actually creating and publishing our websites and hosting for free. It's available for free. Check out that last video if you'd like. But with Canva Pro, we're able to actually host our entire website and link it to our domain name. So this is our freetofamily.com. And when you look at the address bar, it actually is freetofamily.com because we do a little bit of URL back end work. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that, whether you are a pro member and what to do in the final steps of your website creation as a free Canva member. All right, so let's take a look. In the last video, we showed you on our Canva Pro account how we went to go publish the website. And when you see that, this comes up. Okay, when you're a Canva Pro member, you're able to publish the website like this, and it goes through. Now, if you have a domain name already available, you can go ahead and do that. But if you don't, there are a couple of different steps you will want to go through with the back end of your domain provider. For me, that's actually namecheap.com. For some people, that is whether it's GoDaddy or another, you know, another one. So you would go to get domain, you can go to get domain, bring your own domain, buy a domain, or claim free Canva domain. So if you want to buy it or bring your own domain, that's definitely a Canva Pro. I already have multiple domains connected. So you can go ahead and put that in and it'll give you a couple of steps that you need to basically follow and go over to your advanced DNA services on your domain provider, put in a couple of different pieces of information like the TXT record, and it's very, very simple. So if, if you need more assistance on that, I can make an entire video, but as you can see, I host so many websites that I can't even, I would have to actually disconnect to be able to show that. But let me go ahead on my free Canva account and show you what happens when I hit publish, right? So here I am on my free Canva account, and I wanna go down a little bit and just show you, there it is, publish, okay? If I hit publish, because this is a free account, I have the option of putting in my website URL. So I can do free to family. Dot my canvas site, or I can do whatever I'd like. And once you put that in there, you're going to go ahead and be able to have that website published to that my canvas site, which is really awesome. And it's a hundred percent free. Very, very simple. You can use a custom domain like it says here. Okay. Free domain, publish to Canva, purchase a new domain. It's actually through Canva and use my existing. It's going to ask me to become a pro member. So you will get stopped if you try to put in a, an actual pro URL. If you want to connect a specific URL like freetofamily.com, if you want to do that, it's going to stop you at this stage. If you want to try Canva Pro, I recommend the yearly subscription. I just do that because I feel like I get the best deal, but you don't need to pay. You literally can just put free domain. And then you get this same kind of prompt asking you to name your site. I'm just going to put test. Testing one, two, three. <laughs> Let's see if that works. URL is not available. Five. It will tell you if it's available. Let's see. It's not available. Let's try another one. Okay, so it's, I just put in, this is my canvas site for now, and this is the name of it. You don't have to name the page. You don't need a description. It's pretty much just something you would do for yourself. You can also um, 
enable search engine, and do a link preview. Now keep in mind when this website comes up, after you hit publish, it's live. And you can go to this website, which I will not publish just so you guys know, I will not publish the site, but I'm going through the steps. If you went to this afterwards, you would be able to see it. This is my Canva site for now, right? And I'll go back to my Free to Family website. When I go into my Canva account, I can actually change things. So if I go to my home page, and I hit Canva and I go to the home refresh, I can actually go to my home page and I can go ahead and just take a look at my actual website, which is really nice. Go to my projects. And I can actually go to my website right here. And this allows me to edit my website, which is really nice. I see here edit, so I can go ahead and hit edit. I can delete. I can add new elements. So I can do whatever I would like and it's this simple. Once I make that quick little change, I hit publish, publish again, republish again. It prepares the design and in seconds, this is what would happen if you were creating a new site as well, it would publish. If you make a mistake, if you want to change the picture, if you don't like the font, if you go to bed and the next day you wake up and you hate your site, go back to your Canva account, open up the last file you're working on, which is your website, which like I said right here, it keeps everything nice and simple and your website is back to where you want it to be. So it's super simple. It's easy to edit. It's just a couple of clicks. Whenever I want to change something up, I don't have to stress about hiring someone, asking someone, going through a certain hosting provider, doing all these crazy things. I can just go back here and my website is published. That simple. So sometimes, depending on the changes, it could take a couple of minutes, but you'll see here once it's done, it will tell you, ta-da, your website is published. And the changes are pretty much instant, as you can see here. There you go. There you go. And it will show you, it will kind of give you like these little Fetty pieces and then view website. And that's it. Super simple. Again, if you want a custom domain, go ahead and sign up for Canva Pro. Work with the back end of your DNS provider and put in your different records it's asking for. It's very, very, very simple to do that. And that's all you need to do. It's not complicated at all. And if you just don't want to have to pay right now and just trying to play around, do it today. Try to make a website. Make a website for your family. Make a little website for your partner's birthday. Do something fun and be creative and have fun with Canva because it's so fun to play around with Canva. And I just love that it's free and accessible to everyone. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you in the next one.